Welcome to the Nalini Kids One Word Workout. Each exercise will focus on one word to strengthen both your body and your mind. In each exercise, I want you to focus on three different things. Your one word, your form, and your posture. Okay, let's get to it. Think. To use one's mind actively to form connected ideas. Let's connect to think. We're going to move our body so we can move our mind. Starting from head to toe, we're going to roll it out. Let's do three head rolls to the right. Go ahead, round your head around. Two, stretch it out. And three, let's go the opposite way. One, two, feel loose. Three, now the shoulders forward, up and forward. One, two, abs are still in. Three, opposite way, up and back. One, two, three, loosen it up. Now hands on your waist, let's circle to the right. One, big circles, two, and three. Opposite way, release it, moving the body to move the mind, two, and three. Now right ankle first, right ankle, roll it around one, two, three, opposite way, one, two, three. All right, other side, left side to the right, one, two, three, opposite side, one, two, and three. All right, and just let your body out, big, big, loose out, roll it all out. All right, now you're ready to think. Alive, alert and active, animated. Let's connect to feeling alive, knee raises. Three sets of these are definitely gonna make you feel alive. Start with your feet hips width apart and parallel. You're gonna start off with your hands on your hips. We're gonna jump our right knee, then our left knee. 10 times, go as high as you can, starting on the count of three. One, two, three. Jump up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next set, arms out to the side, ten more, jump, one, two, three, four, five, six, arms up, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, one more, feel super alive, arms up to the ceiling, shoulders down, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, do you feel alive? Work. Exertion or effort directed to produce or accomplish something. Let's connect to work with an abdominal routine. Here's your chair. You're going to come around your chair. You're going to sit sideways on the chair because you're going to be leaning back and you don't want the back of the chair to get in the way. First thing I want you to do is take a nice hold of the edge, scoot forward to the edge so you have room. You're going to lean back with the chest up. You're going to bring your knees up, slightly bent. This is the start position. We're going to do one just so you have the correct form. So you're going to lean back as you extend the legs and then you're going to bring the knees and the chest together at the top. That's one. We're going to do 30. Remember the word? Work. We're about to work. Lean back. Chest is nice and big. We're going to go 10. One, two, nice and slow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feel those abs. Nine and 10. Now we're going to go 10 fast. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six. It's burning. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So now, ten more to go. We're going back to the slow. Legs out, chest back. One, two, three. We're almost there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Nine and ten. You're gonna bring your feet down. So, you remember that word, work? We're gonna do one more set of 30, okay? So, are you ready? You're gonna grab the chair, you're gonna lean back, 
You're gonna extend your, bend your legs a little bit. Extend, three, two, one, let's work. One, two, three, four, good job, five, Six, feel those abs. Seven, keep your form. Eight, nine, and ten. Now poses, nice and fast. One, two, three, four, five. We're almost there. Here's seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time, okay? One, two, three, four, five. We're almost there. We're almost there. Three more, eight, nine, and 10. With the five second hold, five, four, three, two, and one. That is work with an abdominal routine. You put that work in. Courage, the ability to do something that frightens. Strength in the face of adversity. Let's connect to feeling courage. Sometimes balance exercises can be scary, but you have to tap into your strength and courage and trust that you're not gonna fall. Stand a little bit away from your desk or your chair. Feet hips width apart and parallel. Have your hands on your hips. You're gonna lean forward to a flat back. Bend your knees, step back with your right leg. Can you lean forward a little bit more? Flexing your right foot, you're gonna bring that right leg up. Try to balance, hold this for 10 seconds. If you need to, grab a hold of the back of the chair or the desk. Hold here for another five more seconds. Can you bring your leg up? Five, pull in four. We're not gonna drop down. Three, two, on one, extend your arms. Another 10 seconds. Hold right here. Eight, seven. You can straighten your left leg if you need to. Five, four, three, two, on one, lengthen out those arms. 10 seconds, hold right there, eight, seven. Flex that right foot for five, flatter back, four, leg up, three, two, and one. Step down, all right, other side. You made it through, one more side left. You're gonna separate your feet, hands on your hips. Lean forward, try to go for a flat back. Step back with your left leg. You're gonna flex that foot when it comes up. Can you lean forward more? Square off the hips, left leg comes up. All right, hold right here, 10 seconds. Lean forward more, leg up higher. Pull in, five more seconds. Five, pull in four, square off those hips. Three, two, on one, lengthen out those arms. 10 seconds, can you bring your left leg up higher? Eight, seven, long spine for five, pull in four. Three, two, on one, lengthen out those arms. If you need to, grab a hold, but I don't think you need it. Five more seconds, arms up, leg up, five. Square off the hips, four. Three, two, and one. All right, that was courage. Happy, feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. Let's connect to feeling happy, a clap squat. You're gonna take your feet wider than your hips, toes in front of the heels. Sink your hips down into a squat. Bring your palms in front of your chest, shoulders back and down. Now copy just my hands and my feet. Hands together, hands apart. Let's do it again. Hands together, hands apart. We're gonna do two sets of 10. Good luck. Pull in, shoulders down. Just look at my hands on the count of three. One, two, three. Hands together, hands apart. Number two, hands apart. Three, hands apart. Four, hands apart. Five, hands apart. Six, hands apart. Seven, hands apart. Eight, hands apart. Nine, hands apart. 10, hands apart. Hold right here, shoulders back and down. Realign yourself, pull in. 10 more, hands in, hands out. Number two, hands out. Three, hands out. Four, hips lower. Five, hands out. Six, hands out. Seven, hands out. Eight, hands out. Nine, hands out. One more, hands out. Hold right here. Sink your butt down for five. Open up the chest. Four, three, two, and one. You did it. Peace, freedom of the mind, tranquility. Serenity. Let's connect to feeling peace with a seated relaxation. So we're gonna start with the feet, hip width apart. Place your hands, your arms on your thighs and sitting nice and tall for me. Shoulders back, chest up. 
Now I want you to close your eyes and you're just going to be. Feel that inner peace with your body. You might not be aware, but your body goes through crazy movements. It's always functioning. It's always thinking. This is your time to just be. Relax, feel your muscles, feel your breath. This is solely for you. Inhale through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. You're still sitting nice and tall with the chest up. Very good. Now you're going to open your eyes. That was peace with a seated relaxation.